Hi guys, welcome back. Um, it's a bit of a different video today. I'm going to be starting on the documentation of the first battle of my bryopsis in my tank. At the moment I don't really have much. I'll uh, put a few pictures um, in this video just to show you what uh, kind of scale I'm dealing with. I just want to um, knock it on the head before it gets out of control. Uh, I'm going to try using um, a product, or not really a product, a medication called Fluconzole which I believe is to like uh, cure, or not cure, but treat for like thrush, which is a bit unusual to be putting stuff like that in your tank. As you can see, they're the three pills here. Now, when you're treating bryopsis with this, you wanna aim for at least 20 milligrams per gallon, as shown here. So I could only get my hands on 150 milligram tablets, so I'm just gonna dose you know, a bit over, um, about 450. So, you know, I don't think it, it's proven that it doesn't do any damage. There's been lots of success with this, so we're gonna give it a bash and see how we get on over a 14 day period. Now, the first thing you wanna do is get your tablets and then I kind of tap it down so that all the uh, contents inside and you want to cut each tablet open using a blade of some sort, just so you can empty the contents into the water a bit difficult okay there we go okay so you can see the tablets content there so we're going to empty those into the water mix it up and then i'll show you what to do next okay, so all the tablets are in and you can see the content there you want to give it a nice stir either in rodi water or you can put it in the tank water that you're going to put back in your system but just give it a really good stir and show that there's no um, excess particles that are going to sink to the bottom because um, when you're polishing your tank, you really don't want solid bits to be eaten, etc. You don't really know what could happen there, so you want to keep it in the water column. Okay, so when you're applying this to your tank, you want to make sure that uh, your skimmers are off, because skimmers will remove this medication. And you also want to make sure that um, any, any kind of substance um, that will possibly remove it is out. Roofosh you're fine with, and you want to keep running your bio pellets, but like I said, turn your skimmer off. Now with bio pellets, I don't want to turn mine off because the um, bacteria that's on it will probably die if I turn them off. Um, so I'm just gonna have to keep an eye on my nitrates, phosphates, etc. during this medical, I think it's about 14 days. So you want to apply all the dose at once, turn everything off, and apparently with this, it's more successful if you've got more light on the tank apparently. So I've got um, 45s and uh, Kessel Light, so hopefully we're going to see something quite good with this. So I'm going to be posting um, updates or just one video with it all in just to show how it's gone. Um, but if there's any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you. Um, I will be doing an update shortly, uh, probably in a fortnight or so, to show how everything's, <coughs> show how everything's gone on.